If we're right, those numbers represent Jake's birthday, but the way they write them in Europe and Greece, first the day, then the month, so it's May 7th. Okay, but where does the chimera come in? I understand Helena leaving it in the book, but how would Jake know to draw it so well and so close to his birthday? Uh, he's obviously working through some trauma, which is making him withdraw more and more into himself. We even offered to take him camping for his birthday, and he said he wouldn't go. Actually, what he said was that he can't go. Why not? Well, because he feels that it wouldn't be fair to spend his birthday away from you guys and your kids. OK, do you think maybe that's just an excuse? OK, I'm not trying to freak everybody out, but I feel like we're running out of time. I agree with you. This chimera clearly means something, and it's tied to his birthday. Which is almost here. The kind of detail that Jake put into that drawing, it's pretty clear that, that he's memorized it, right? That he's seen it somewhere before. So did he see it on Castine Island? That would be the obvious conclusion. But uh, Helena is all about misdirection, so maybe this chimera has nothing to do with the island whatsoever. Look, we're all worried about Jake, right? We all want answers, but considering what we have to go with, maybe we need to take a little break. Yeah. No, I agree. Let's let's get a good night's sleep, and maybe this will all make sense in the morning. Yeah, maybe. Do you mind if I take that? No, I'll take it. Maybe something will pop out at us that we haven't seen yet. And we'll keep working on this picture, but I don't think any of us should question Jake. It'll only shut him down. I agree. Hey, let's let me go. Whether I like it or not, Jake seems to think he has a connection with you. He has for a long time now. Do the right thing. What was that all about? All right. OK, Danny and Scout are done for the count. We owe Christina big time for dropping everything and coming over to babysit. Yeah. Thank you for coming tonight. I know it's hard for you to be in the same room as Franco. Jason, please, I would do anything for you. And, and this is about Jake. Look, I don't, um, I, I, I didn't want to say anything in front of Elizabeth because I didn't want to frighten her. But whatever Helena did to Jake and whatever she did to you, I think it's all tied together. Yeah, so do I. And this thing is the key. Yeah, well, it's a good place to start. No, actually, Greece is the place to start. I've got to go back to Castellano. Yeah, I don't know.